Never underestimate the value of a good team up. One character's weakness might be another's strength, and when the brawl begins, you're gonna want someone who can bring their best to aid their allies. So I'm thinking Aladdin and Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey are gonna need to team up if we're going to win. This is Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances, which was published by the Yahoo sponsors this video. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Murphy of the Brothers Murph, and I am here with Board Game Geek. Now I see some rival characters in Gaston and Ariel, so I need to ready my team to take down my rival summoner. So let's get this game down to the table to go a little more in focus on Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances. In Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances, two to four players will be creating a team of characters and using their muscle, magic, and wits to outduel their rival summoners. Each player will choose at least two characters to control, each coming with their own deck of action cards which are thematically tied to that character. Some characters are quicker and move around a lot, while others may be big bruisers who deal out more damage. The rulebook is broken down into chapters to easily introduce game concepts. For a player's first game, they will only control two characters and have Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey and Aladdin face off against Gaston and Ariel. The following chapters allow players to control three characters at once, and Chapter 3 introduces character abilities on top of their cards. Chapter 4 brings the final mechanics forward and introduces character upgrades and gears, and having chapters allows people to add more into the game at their own pace. Once a player has selected their characters, they will shuffle together their character decks to form a blend of cards to use as each character activates. Each round, all characters will activate once in turn order. When it's a character's turn to act, they will make a move and perform an action in either order. Moving allows the summoner's allies to move around the board and be in position to deal damage to rival characters. The active player may use a standard movement of two or play a movement card which may come with additional effects. In addition to moving, a player may take an action whether it be a standard attack of two or they can play an action card. Battle cards are where a character gets to shine. Cards will often have multiple effects which are carried out from top to bottom and allow a player to directly target a rival character with an attack or even perform indirect attacks that might target multiple rivals. Status effects may be played to help or hinder a character for one or multiple rounds. Each time a player knocks out a rival character by removing their health to zero, they score points shown on that character's turn order tile. If a character begins their turn in one of the three victory point spaces, they also score a point. Players will take turns in turn order, activating their characters, moving and attacking, and once a player has reached 20 points or run out of cards to draw, the last round is triggered and after the final round, the player with the most points wins. Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances really focuses on players using unlikely combinations of characters from your favorite Disney and Pixar movies and its shows. Characters we thought of as villains before might fight side by side with classic heroes, and the combinations and flavors of play that can be created are vast. Players can use the chapter system to familiarize themselves with more aspects of the game once they're ready, and they can even play team games against two opposing summoners. And if Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances seems like a game you'd enjoy, be sure to check out its page at Board Game Geek. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy, I've been here with Board Game Geek, and we've been going in focus on Disney Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances. Have a great day.